Hey folks, as you can see, these doors um, with this trim lumber that I have, I have just enough for the, for the remaining three doors. I won't uh, show you the rest of the door creation because you saw it in the uh, video that was earlier, but good news, I have enough lumber for the doors, so stay tuned. Okay friends, it's uh, Sunday. Uh, the 29th of November and I'm off this next week uh, Thanksgiving vacation so I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish everything I have the uh, metal roof on order along with the uh, you know, the roof strips so once those come in I'll finish it off but uh, yeah I finished this last the fourth door and now what I need to do is I need to measure the openings and then get the uh, true dimensions of the doors done. And I have my uh, Craig uh, AccuCut attachment right here along with the uh, track, AccuCut track. And that's what's going to help me get a really straight line and I also have my framing square to keep things squared up so yeah need to get these doors fitting really nice so I'm gonna spend a lot of time on them stay tuned Sixty and three quarters. Perfect. So the doors should just go flush with that. That'll be perfect. So sixty. And three quarters of an inch. So I'll probably do sixty and a half inch and get that half. So that's thirty and a quarter inches wide for each door. Just take it off a very small strip here. I can only go to here and then I'll readjust it. That's maxed out. Yeah, but it just won't cut deep enough. So I have to do this. Alright, I wish I had another extension. I think I'll invest in another extension.
Okay. That's a good, uh, that's a good line. Right now I gotta get the 30 and a quarter. On the other side here. Okay. Oh, weird. This battery's kind of weird. Huh. I wonder if there's something wrong with the battery, because that should have been charged. Nice straight line. pretty nice okay next step is to uh, get this height and I uh, think we'll be good in good shape okay, I'm getting about 66 and three quarters I think that's gonna be it let me try this side Yeah. Yeah, 66 and three quarters. I need to get a good right angle, and I'm just going to take a few. First, look, what? How long is this? Good. Got a couple inches to play with. take about a half an inch off
I guess what's happening, the battery, the batteries are getting hot. I'll have to look that up on the internet. Maybe one of you guys know what's going on. Okay, we got 66 and three quarters. not deep enough. Not happy with these batteries. I guess it is kind of hard work for them. this one door I'm gonna go ahead and make another one I'm not gonna film it but uh, yeah I'll go ahead and make it okay just wanted to bring you up to date on the overseeding you can see here that the rebel grass is just fantastic look at that this was patchy and it was it was horrible prior to overseeding all along here this is all from the construction of the pool but look at that lush fescue all the way all this was dirt so I'm real pleased with the uh, the rebel fescue okay uh, finished the first two doors and I am really pleased because I measured from that corner to this corner 73 and a quarter inches that corner to this corner 73 and a quarter inches same exact for this so I don't know if it's beginners luck or or what it is but uh, these doors came out perfectly square um, that's good <laughs> all right so um, I think what I'm going to do, I was debating whether or not to paint these first before I put them on. I think maybe, uh, I'm having a problem. I love this Milwaukee, but the batteries, I mean, the batteries really drain out pretty quickly. So uh, I was able to finish these two doors. I'll let the batteries uh, charge up and then I'll do the other two doors. but. I'm going to go ahead and try to mount these. I've got the uh, hardware over in that bag over there. So um, I think I'll just paint after I mount them and just try to be real careful. So stay tuned. All right. Got some of these uh, ever built hinges, eight inch hinges. So that's how they're going to be oriented to open out. Nice hardware. You got to make some pilot holes for sure so it doesn't split. Basically the top one has to be 12 inches down from the top of the door. This needs to be 14 inches up. 14 inches up from the bottom of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that now.
splitting through a bit. I'll have to take the uh, angle grinder to it. This is the moment of truth. Please work. Yeah, I've got to definitely have to grind those down. This is going to be the main door, so I'll put the door stops on now. Looks good, kind of rough. <laughs> it's hitting that uh, concrete right there. I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's get the next door going. Helpers now. Hey Dixie, hey Rocky. Had to cut this door a quarter inch shorter. So I just did that. And let's see if it fits better. I'm experimenting with uh, different size shims here. This may do it. <clears throat> yeah. I think that does it.
Hey, Rocky. You help him. What do you think, Rocky? What do you think, buddy? Think it works good? Huh? Let's try it out. That works pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Okay, good. Thanks, Rocky. Thanks for your help. I appreciate it. You're here for moral support, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're here for moral support. Good boy. <laughs>